Do these Labradoodle puppies have homes? Who's going to take them? Today is our allocation video for the mini Australian Labradoodle puppies from our triple play litter. And in today's video, we are going to share with you what all of our families were looking for in their puppy and which puppy has chosen them as their forever family and the reasons why we match the puppies and families as we did. And we are going to do the puppies in birth order just like we have for all of our videos. So hang on and get ready for all sorts of great news and probably a few tears. Our first puppy is Pink Collar Girl. A Pink Collar Girl is going to be going to live in Sydney with Janet, Jay, and their other Van Isle Labradoodle girl, Rosie. Now Janet and Jay figured they had such a great time with their Van Isle Doodle Rosie girl that they wanted to double the fun. That's their words. They wanted a friend for Rosie and Janet in particular was looking for a dog who would be a little bit more affectionate and cuddly than Rosie is. They enjoy going camping and going for walks. In Sydney, they live pretty much almost on the beach. So there's a lot of time that they spent at the beach. So Miss Pink Collar Girl, her name is now Daisy, which I think suits her perfectly. As you can see, she never stops kissing other than to chew on your finger. This girl is affectionate to the core. That is her main thing in the world is just to give so much love and cuddles and kisses. Very confident puppy. She's going to be totally fine with Rosie. It will not bother her in the least if Rosie says, I hate you for the first few days. She will be like, oh, well, you're lost. That is very much her personality. She is also not going to challenge Rosie's role as the first dog in the household. That's also not something that she is likely to do. This is a super fun puppy. She is full of personality. She has lots of little quirks and just, oh, she's just the most fun dog of all. Now this was originally my pick to keep back as a breeding dog, but we do like to make everything work for everybody. And this girl was just the best fit for Rosie and Janet and Jay, you as well, of course. She has a very uh, independent type of nature, so she's very good at entertaining herself. And she's the type of puppy who you can't really hurt her feelings. She figures she's pretty hot stuff and uh, that's her opinion of herself. Perfect for someone who's familiar with dogs and ALDs in particular. You will understand and already know how to raise, Ro or not Rosie, because you've done that, how to raise Daisy and how to get uh, the two of them being best friends in short order. She is an ideal dog to be a second dog in a family. She's just going to integrate so readily into your lives. She's going to enjoy loving and, li loving and living with the three of you. So that's a pink collar. Now Daisy off to join Janet, Jay, and Rosie in Sydney. Oh my goodness, Miss Scormer. Next we have blue collar boy. Hello, blue. How are you? Mr. Blue is this very pretty dilute chocolate tri boy. And he is going to be joining Tisha, Jefferson, Shia, Bo, and Parker. And he's going to live in Bella Bella. This is our very first puppy who's ever gone to Bella Bella. And I am just a little bit jealous. I love the Bella 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 Coola area. It is one of the most scenic parts of our promise of our province. So I hope that maybe I might get invited to come and visit him sometime. Tisha and family were looking for a dog that was allergy friendly. A great family dog. They recently lost their dog unexpectedly, which was a very sad time for everyone. They want lots of cuddles and of course living where they do. There's lots of beach time and a great friend for the kids to grow up with. So Boo, Blue Collar is now Baloo. I love that name. Super cuddle bug. You can see the level of affection. This is our gentle giant of the litter. So calm, such a chill puppy, fantastic for younger children. He's sturdy enough to manage Parker and Bo and not be at all upset about their fast movements. 
and he loves people and is particularly drawn to children. And when Tisha came with her grandma for a visit, oh well, Balu immediately adopted grandma as his grandma. So I hope Tisha, when you're traveling, that grandma will enjoy hanging out with Balu as well. He's our big baby out of the group. He's fun, loving, so gentle and kind. He's adorable and adoring. An excellent family dog who's just going to enjoy everyone in the family. He'll be a great friend for all the kids, a wonderful companion for you, Tisha, and a great person, Jefferson, for you to talk to. He's just the most wonderful boy. I just love this guy. So that's Mr. Blue, now Baloo, going to Bella Bella. Oh, so many bees there. And next we have our orange collar boy. Hello, Mr. Orange. There we go. Hi, and Mr. Orange is also a try, but he comes in the black version, just like his Papa Bowie. Now this Mr. Orange is going to be going to joining Sophie, Cam, Karen, and Sarah, and he is going to be living in Machosen. And now this little puppy is here to make Sophie's dreams come true. She has been wanting a dog since she can remember. And they have a cabin at Lake Cowichan where they're looking forward to spending time with the puppy. So they wanted a dog who was going to be great in the outdoors, great with water activities, a dog for friendship, and as Sophie put it, a dog full of feisty joy. Well, Orange is now Koa, which means warrior, and is also the name of a tree in Hawaii. And this guy has feisty in spades. At the family visit, he spent the whole time parading around, <laughs> going after everybody, and just showing everybody how he was just Mr. Personality. Cheeky, confident, sometimes sassy. Oh my goodness, he's got it all going on. Sophie, I don't think we could have found a more fun dog for you. Huge zest for life. Outdoor activities are his thing. That's where he is the happiest is being outside. Totally fearless and will love being loved by you, Sophie, and the entire family. I know that this dog is a family dog, but I also am realistic and know that Koa is going to be Sophie's special friend more than anything. There's enough of Koa to go around for everyone in the family, but he is going to have that very special bond with Sophie, kind of like the one I share with Ripple, I expect. Uh, so I'm looking forward particularly to seeing Koa again because Sophie is going to come and volunteer at Van Isle Doodles this summer while the family is staying out at Lake Cowgym. And I can't tell you how excited we are about that. Sophie has a really keen interest in dogs. She has amazing questions, incredible knowledge. I think now if I asked her for the family tree, she would know the answers better than I do. So that's Mr. Orange Collar off to live in Machosen with Sophie, Cam, Karen, and Sarah, and be known as Koa the Warrior. Perfect name choice, by the way. And that leads us to Red Collar Boy. There we go, Koa. Red Collar Boy is our little apricot fellow. Now this little guy is not going anywhere. He is staying here as our Van Isle breeder prospect and his name is Totem. Duncan is the city of Totems and that is where Totem got his name. So this guy is also a bit feisty, just like Koa is. So much fun. He is just an amazing little guy who absolutely adores people. Now you'll hear me saying that with every puppy. I'm not just saying it. They all get that from Bowie and Jojo. Those two dogs, the two parents of this litter, probably love people more than any of our other two dogs. And you can see it come through in these puppies. Apparently my ear is very tasty. This is why I didn't wear earrings today. Day. This guy will choose people over his litter mates, fearless just like Koa. He's going to be, we're looking for a guardian family for him, so if you're out there, we'd really like to find you because this little guy's ready to go home in two weeks uh, and we'd really love to have a guardian on board right from the time he's little. But we'll wait for that right family. <laughs> you can see the tail never stops. Perfect for someone who enjoys a dog with personality, 
He'll be wonderful with kids. He is an entertaining dog. He's clever. He loves to kiss, as you can see. Cuddles are on the menu as well. A nice balanced puppy who we hope is going to make an excellent stud dog prospect for us. So that's Little Red Collar, now Totem, looking for a guardian home. And that brings us up to Green Collar. Hello, Green. How you doing, handsome? Green Collar is also a dilute chocolate try. So I take some of that uh, kiss off of my ear there. <laughs> and Mr. Green Collar, he's going to be joining Matt and Alicia in Victoria. Now, Matt and Alicia are first time dog parents, and they were looking for a puppy who is going to be active and fun, but also very comfortable being quieter and living in a condo environment, and also good for a home office uh, work arrangement. They wanted that balance that ALDs are known for, where they're super fun and active, but also really quiet and chill. They're looking forward to going for walks, having lots of cuddles, and then weekend adventures when work is finished. So Mr. Green's name is now Bogey, and he is a thoughtful, gentle boy. He's the quietest puppy in the group, absolutely perfect for a home office environment and condo life. He loves to cuddle and be made to feel secure. When you hold him, he likes to be held really up close and be just melded right into your body. He has an enormous desire to please, so he'll be really easy as a first time dog owner to work with and learn together with him. He is well able to enjoy fun and go on adventures in the car, enjoy beach time, or hiking in many of the Vancouver Island forests. Just a lovely first dog. He's going to be ferociously loyal, and you're just never going to be, not be able to imagine what life was like before Bogey got into your life. So that's Green Collar. Off to join Matt and Alicia in Victoria. Next we have Yellow Collar Girl. And Yellow Collar Girl is our pretty chocolate phantom girl. So she's darker, you can see. She may change color over time, but she looks like she's going to perhaps have a little bit of that darker color there. And she doesn't have the white on her. And Yellow Collar Girl is going to be joining Sandy, Daryl, Nicole, and the grandkids in Nanus Bay. This is our keeper girl from the litter, and she is going to be just perfect living in an extended family arrangement. So we have mom and dad, Sandy and Daryl, and then we have daughter Nicole and the grandkids all living together. It's just great, one big happy family. And also, Sandy and family are getting a second guardian dog from our Onyx Shadow Litter. So we also needed a puppy who was going to be great with another puppy. They're looking for a dog for companionship, cuddles, fun, and a really good friend for the kids to grow up with. Now, Yellow Collar, now Safrina, and thank you so much, Daryl and Sandy, for coming out with that great name idea. I just love it. Safrina is such a beautiful name, and it suits her. She has an exceptionally well-balanced personality. She does have lots of characteristics from both of her parents, and she is very kissy. Terrific fit with our ALD breed standard as well. She has a lovely calm disposition, very gentle, so great for the kids. She has beautiful calm formation, super adaptable. So she's going to be very easygoing and well able to be with different people throughout the day as Daryl, Sandy, and Nicole's schedules are on. They're, they have opposite schedules. So she'll go from different people during the day to love and care for her. She's playful, super affectionate, loves kids, couldn't ask for a better fit. So that's Safrina off to gorgeous Nanus Bay to join Sandy, Daryl, Nicole, and the grandkids as our Van Isle Labradoodle breeding prospect girl. And that leaves us with Silver Collar Boy. And by a process of elimination, we know that this handsome man is going to be joining Pele, Jackie, Charlie, and Freya in Victoria. This is their first family dog. They were looking for an allergy-friendly dog, one who's affectionate, and one that has a personality just like Peanut. 
Now, why just like Peanut? Well, Pele has some allergies. And when he first came, after he was bombarded in here with a litter of puppies, and I think it was eight or nine adult dogs, he got some eye irritation. So we wanted to be sure that the allergies weren't going to be an issue for him. So we sent Peanut to for a sleepover to Pele and Jackie's house for a week. And fortunately, Pele did not have a peanut allergy. So that meant they could continue with their plans to get a puppy. And now Jackie works in a senior center and she is hoping to be able to take her puppy to work with her. So that was another consideration in choosing which puppy we were going to match with this family. The Silver Collar does not have a name yet. Fun boy, loves to cuddle, adores children. He's an independent fellow so he'll be fine on those days you're working from home, Jackie and Pele. Very adaptable. So we have changing caregivers during the day at this household. Oh, we got somebody who's still talking and wanting to be on the video there. Mr. Green is saying, I think I should still be talked about. We have adapt needing him to be adaptable because we have two different sets of grandparents who provide childcare. We've got parents who work from home and go into home or into the office rather. So we've got four different caregivers during the week. So we need a puppy who's able to get on with all of them. We also need a puppy who is able able to be managed readily by grandparents. And I'm thinking that probably the grandparents are younger than I am. I can manage him so I know the grandparents are both going to love him and not have any trouble with him. He has that therapy quality showing through that Peanut's so famous for. So I'm sure he will bring many smiles to the seniors or anyone else he meets. Clever, so easy to learn with, a great choice for a first dog. Gentle and kind to the kids as well. So that's Mr. Silver Collar without a name yet, going to Pele, Jackie, Charlie, and Freya in Victoria. And that's all of the puppies in this litter. We want to thank you so much for following through right from our birth announcement video through to our allocation video. And we hope you've enjoyed the journey with all these puppies. We hope you've learned some valuable information about Australian Labradoodles and puppies in general. If you have a sec, please post your comment. We'd love to know what you think about the name choices, how the matching process went, any questions you might have. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope you'll join us with our, for our other litter updates and stay current on your Van Isle Labradoodle videos. See you next time.